What's going on everyone, Jeremy here from The Quartering and today we had the latest Battlefield announcement and it's been a long time since we've had any video game news to really talk about on this channel. Sure, video games have been released and been played by people obviously in the past few months, but look, this channel doesn't cover video game comes out and customers were satisfied and everyone was happy stories. I mean, that's for everyone else. For me, I like to cover the ones where they're a complete disaster. So far, uh, Battlefield's latest release uh, seems to be going back to fan service, which I'm sure will lead to several scathing articles from video games journalists over the next couple of days. If you don't remember, uh, 2008's Battlefield 5 bonanza of content let me refresh your memory memory you may have remembered seeing hashtag not my battlefield um gender field five um all this other stuff that dice had been you know essentially pushing identity politics into their video games and unapologetically blaming the customers for not liking it we saw leaked screenshots or pictures from Vice meetings where they had, you know, where they were like roasting gamers. And this is a, a very common trait of modern day video game companies that they, they hate their customers. And um, I, I can't say I know why. Um, they just do. Uh, and if you remember, this is uh, back EA on Battlefield 5 controversy. If you don't like it, don't buy it. When Battlefield 5's trailer dropped, a particular vitriolic set of the internet whipped out its collective keyboard in order to complain about the events that had folded, unfolded. For one, the game involved a woman with a disability in a starring role. Well, yes, that is funny to me in, the in, in, a, in, a, in a Battlefield setting. This is... This, I'm sorry, this, it was said by critics, was an inauthentic representation of World War II, despite EA not being contractually obligated to strictly follow the events of World War II and women having actually served in combat roles during that war. The thinly disguised argument that introducing female character would, quote, break immersion when rolled out, it turned out EA isn't apologetic for its choice of playable characters and people don't like the company's decision, then CCO Patrick Soderfield, perfectly content with players not picking up Battlefield Five. Quote, Battlefield 5 is a lot about the unseen, the untold, the unplayed, Sutherland told Gama Sutra. The common perception is that there were no women in World War II, but there were a ton of women in, who, bought, bought, who fought both in World War II and partook in the war. Yes, tens of women did, and hundreds of <laughs> thousands of men did. I, I don't think anyone out there is saying, like, they don't exist, but the fact that it was the forefront of the trailer is what pushed everyone off. She, he wrote, we don't take any flack, Soderlin concluded. We stand up for the cause because we think people who don't understand it, well, you have two choices, either accept it or don't buy the game. I'm fine with either or. And if we look at it, um, if we look at back at Battlefield 5 sales, they were a disappointment. EA had blames, this is from February 6th, marketing and development for low Battlefield 5 sales. Like, you literally told gamers, don't like it, don't buy it. They didn't. And then you're like, well, actually, it must have been marketing. It must have been development delays. Completely ignoring the actual reality uh, of why people didn't buy the game. Some people listened to the advice of the CCO of... EA telling us to not buy the game and I didn't buy the game. I didn't want to uh, I wanted to do what Patrick Soderlin said. Don't like it. Don't buy it. So I didn't buy it this year. Battlefield 2042 came out and the trailer was overwhelmingly loved. There's a lot uh, of good to say about the game, the trailer release. And if you look at it, in fact, I want to pull up um I thought I had this up, but I guess I don't. Here's a reveal trailer from three hours ago, okay? It currently has 416,000 upvotes to 4,700 downvotes. Number one on trending. Like, why do we think that that is? I mean, yeah, this is the thing. Uh, when you go back to actual customer service, actual fan service, 
they will buy your game. They will love your game. If we look at um, if we look at Battlefield Five official trailer, let's see how that one went over. Here it is, 15 million views. Battlefield Five, 578,000 dislikes. In fact, 361,000 likes, so it had significantly less likes as well. Uh, this is what happens when you abandon ideology and you're like, oh, crap, we actually have to make a game that people want. I mean, this to me is pretty obvious uh, that somebody inside of uh, DICE or EA said, all right, enough of the um, identity politics. You know, I think we need to actually sell this game because Call of Duty is running away with things. Now I'll say there is plenty to not love about Battlefield 2042. For example, for me, no campaign mode. Uh, I know I can feel your eyes rolling. Not everyone likes campaign rolls and p modes and everyone loves to um, say they don't matter. And that's fine. But for me, paying $70 for a game that is online only just doesn't feel that good. You could say what you want about the you know the latest campaign mode in the Call of Duty, but I had a blast with it, and I know that it wasn't like thirty hours of campaign mode, but that's not what people are demanding. It's like give me a fun ten-hour campaign mode to get used to the gameplay, live through a really cool story, get used to the the the, the weapons, get used to um, the new game, and to feel like I lived through something before immediately jumping into online play. I know that's not for everybody. That's just how I feel. For example, when I used to play uh, sports ball games more, you know, I would play franchise mode. I would play Madden, uh, you know, franchise mode. I would play uh, coach mode or whatever um, before I ever played online uh, because I knew once I played online, that would be all I would ever do is just play head, head to head online matches late into the night, which is fine and all. But if I'm paying $70, I'd like some campaign mode. So yes, Battlefield 2042 is being compared uh, to Black Ops 4 for that reason. The game has no online, I'm sorry, no campaign mode. It only has seven maps. And while they're saying the maps are huge, um, I'm not sure. I, you know, I, I, I don't care how big they are. If it gets repetitive, um, then I'm not feeling it. The game itself, will support matches of up to 128 players on PC, Xbox Series X and S. Xbox One and Four will be kept at 64 players. The maps will be scaled down a bit as well. Otherwise, updates will come. So Battlefield 2042 introduces a new approach to character classes that will be 10 unique specialists of the game. I don't I don't like that. That's, again, a personal preference. I, I just want to be able to uh, have all the characters be basically the same, but I'd like to be able to customize it. Um, but there are four confirmed specialists so far, recon, assault, support, and engineer. Each specialist primary weapon is locked while the secondary choice is up to the player. For instance, the assault specialist always has a grappling gun and a trait that makes him more nimble while recon specialist gets surveillance thrown and shoots EMP darts. Uh, I, I don't love that. It feels a little, I mean, but look, Overwatch and other games like that have this type of setup and you know they like it so there's that it'll also of course include a battle pass system for seasonal content with quote free and premium tiers there won't be any maps or gameplay advantages locked behind premium paywall just cosmetic items that's what they say um we'll have to see how that comes out now the fact that the game is coming out this year is a welcome uh Thing for me as I've grown weary of you know playing Call of Duty the maps you know I don't know I, I just don't think people universally loved Black Ops 4 I don't think that uh, people loved it and you can see I tweeted you know I'm still excited about Battlefield but for what I can for what it could eventually be but Charging $70 for Black Ops 4 with better graphics, no campaign, no Battle Royale, only seven maps. You know, and the thing, the thing about Battle Royale not being a part of it, I guess, is not a deal breaker for me. I mean, Call of Duty and Warzone are, are two separate things. So no BR in it isn't like the end of the world to me. Uh, but I'm fine 
with uh, going back to basics and rewarding customers with some fan service and give them what they want. Even if I don't love the futuristic aspect of it, um, I, I like Division Two, warts and all. I just like kind of that modern day feel. But I don't know. Will you be purchasing the latest Battlefield game? Or are you over it? For me, if it's online only, I expect these games to be very cheap or free. Um, 70 bucks for no campaign mode plus a season pass seems a little rough. And until people stop kind of committing to that, we're going to keep getting it. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.